everyone good morning for this week's video i wanted to vlog two shoots that i have back to back tomorrow but i also thought it'd be fun to include today as well i also filmed my outfit yesterday as well so i'll show that after this i'm about to meet my lovely gorgeous friend reina for a little coffee ketchup all the things and we're gonna bop around we are meeting to get matcha at cabin on 9th i've never been but we're going to try a new spot and then we're gonna go to a gallery bop around again and just catch up she's a super incredible and talented photographer but then also just casting she's been working on a project and i just feel like we just have been talking hello that's my alarm to leave we've just been very like work focused and we're like we need to hang out as like friends again so that's what today is and i'm very excited so we're gonna go meet up with rains now last night i had drinks with tashi and maddie and it was so lovely they're both stylists and super super talented i didn't like vlog with them but maybe something is in the works and we also just like have only really worked together so we were just like let's hang out so that's what we did yesterday which was friday today's saturday and then i'll vlog all day tomorrow outfit oh okay don't look at my put tape there to like pull it push it down because it makes super loud noise if i don't have it taped outfit of the night everyone i'm going to get drinks with maddie and tashi i cannot wait maddie and her boyfriend henry styled the vellum show and then me and tashi assisted and we went overdue for like a little drinks and to catch up i'm just so excited that i have like stylist friends and we can chat about the industry and, and be friends like outside of work but then also like have work and use each other as a resource and just like support each other it's like truly the best feeling For the past like two years i feel like i've kind of gotten some more styling friends which is so cool it's just kind of happened that way very grateful for it my outfit tonight i'm wearing this knee-high hoodie it's like the perfect top or like sweatshirt to throw on when it's a little chilly on like a summer night which is exactly what the vibes are outside it has like some script in the back which is cute and then my soap studio skirt which I love nylon socks as well, but they kind of look like tights and then I'm wearing these Jeffrey Campbell shoes This bag from Rosen Bowl, but it is the brand Hobo International and then I'm wearing these earrings that I got at Salvation Army for the ice cream shoot that I did with Izzy, Frosty Delight, and a lot of other fabulous people that I talk about in this video if you want to watch that shoot vlog. Waiting for the final images still. I like cannot wait to see them. We're sending them to hopefully get published. I will update on that shoot when I can. I really want to post. Love the concept. Love the makeup. Loved working with everybody. It was just good vibe all around. This is the look for tonight. Did my same makeup routine. Really, really, really rocking with Piggy. The Rogue Beauty Blush. I'm wearing it every day. We are going to Bar Valentina. I wanted to mention because it's a really cute bar. Okay, love you, let's go. Sunday, I have a shoot with Arette, which is a really amazing app. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. And then Dot, another one of my amazing talented stylist friends. They already styled like a few shots for Jeffrey Campbell, but I think they have extra pieces. So we were like, let's do a little shoot together. So Dot styling me, I'm modeling, which I'm so honored. So that'll be tomorrow and we'll vlog all of that jazz. It'll all be good. Let me show you my outfit and then we'll go. I just want to be comfy cozy. We got OG BFF on the top. Absolute idiot. Obsessed. My new linen trousers that I got two videos ago, I believe, from 10 Feet Single by Stella Dallas. My Mark Jacobs bag that I got off the Real Real. Vintage Dior Sunnies that I got at Reformation. The one on Ludlow that has vintage J. Crew little patent. Mary Janes for some height because these pants are quite long. Really cute gingham bra. Pop of blue, even though it's not the exact same blue. Bras need to be made up more like here. Like give me more here so then I could layer with shirts and it like pops out. I know it's trying to give cleave, but like I wish that showed. Same old makeup. Up, didn't do any like mascara or anything. I'm really digging that look. My eyes just need a break, let me tell you. Ideally, would wear like no contacts, just glasses for a week, but it's a little tricky. Road blush again in Piggy, and then my Say Beauty Super Glowy Gel to finish. And then Say Beauty Lip Gloss in Bounce, House Labs Lip Crayon in Mocha Matte, Wet n Wild Lip Liner in Chestnut 7 Eleven. And then Chapstick to blend it all together. Star Face Pimple Patch. This area right now is. Just ended my period though, so that kind of always happens. Okay, let's go. It's kind of weird weather out. It's like gloomy, kind of looks like it's gonna rain and like really windy. So I brought an umbrella because I am in an all white outfit. So then it's gonna be like a wet t-shirt contest all over my body. Oh, and my DM jeweler's ring that has a K on it for my boo. Let's go. This is an accessible station. The Hotter than I thought, y'all. I'm sweating. I literally also, I sat down for like five minutes before I had to leave for the subway. And I like almost fell asleep. Which is just not happening. I'm not, I don't like do, I don't take naps. I'm not like trying to be like sick. 
I just, I just don't. I've never really been able to. But I could have fallen asleep right then and there. I went to an Orange Theory class this morning, and it was like just treadmill. I'm pooped. And then I got smoothies, but I'm thinking I need some serious fuel. Right, it's gonna kick some energy in my butt. Kick some energy in my butt. Not sure if that's what I really wanted to say. It's gonna snap me out of this, whatever this is. But I am needing a chill night, like bedtime nine. For real. Okay, we're almost there. But you kept every word you said and you stayed true. Also, I'm realizing we didn't show our matchas, but I'm with Raina. And it was good. What did you rate it? I, it was better than the last match we got in the last <laughs> vlog. I'd rate it Our like- Our strawberry tiramisu like milk. I'd rate it like an eight out of 10. Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah, really good. This is so cute. I'm not driving super long distances. Yeah. Hi, how are you? <gasps> That's so cute. I'm polka dotted out. I know. I'm getting this. No, I love it. It's perfect. Now. Where now? We're now. Marina got some sunnies, you guys. First designer purchase. First designer purchase. Adorable Seven case. Wonders. Adorable case. I almost bought that to be like a wallet. But they came together. Look at that. They're perfect. They're perfect. Now we're spinning. What, you're saying you're not crazy? No. Oh, Kieran and I are fighting. It's so awkward. Oh, <laughs> He's crying. I made him cry. <laughs> We're at Fine and Dandy throwback. What is with this lighting? Fine and Dandy. This is the OG. This is throwback. We're here to find Kieran some tops. Boy sock. Hi, everyone. Scary boy feet. Scary boy feet. Okay. Little haul from today. I got this bangle. Finally found a bangle that fit. From that like truck, I think it was called like Disobedient Daughter. It was like her vintage shop. And the truck that me and Raina went to. I got the bangle and then I got this TWA vintage 70s tee with all this paint on it. Enrique at Fine and Dandy Throwback sourced this from California and it was like a painter. And he has a bunch of pieces there that have paint all over it, but that the TWA tee was very cool. Kieran found this for me. See the sweet hat. This is the tag. That was my haul for today. And then now I'm going to style out four outfits for the Arete shoot and then probably like pack some of my makeup. Yay! Unboxing my Ange pieces. Yeah! For a red, basically it's like four or five outfits encompassing of like your style or just four or five outfits that like you love or whatever and want to be featured. My friend Nat did the same kind of like shoot feature with a red. These were the photos, so beyond and they were so cool. So I'm trying to think of like this kind of shoot and like what outfits I would want to put together. And I would love to feature Ange. So I have the sailor bonnet on, which I would like tie in like a little bow. It looks kind of like wonky on me right now because my hair is all like sweaty and nasty but we'll make it look cute i promise i'm in her sailor top which is the coolest back and this is from her queer high school collection and i'll link the description to shop it if you want to the leather flowers from mcguire shoes and it's like a italian leather like shoe pin that you can add to your shoes I'm adding it here to then also connect to the shoes which are a scotta that i got off depop to connect the red from the tutu and the tutu slash petticoat is from stella dallas living and i'm obsessed with it i think it looks really fun and i think for the makeup, I'm gonna do like no makeup on the eyes and then do a red lip, like a really perfect like cherry red lip to match the shoes and the polka dots and bring it all together. So I'm super excited about this and I love my pieces from Anne. So excited to own these pieces for the rest of my life. I purchased them when Anne basically like announced the collection and I just got so excited and they're amazing quality. So shop Anne just stop. I think the legs are a little bare. I'm trying to figure out like what 
would these shoes look like? like would this be cute to bring the pink but the thing is is this pink is such a specific pink it's like all my other pink things are very like red based pink and not like blue based pink you know what i mean the legs definitely look bare but i feel like that's maybe kind of cute i really wish i had like navy stockings or something and i used to but i broke them ripped and snagged them you know what i mean so we're gonna figure this out but this is what i'm thinking for look one look at this bonnet sailor hat bonnet it's perfect three pieces from and kieran and i were kind of getting creative with how i could style the like kilt belt situation and styled this like under her bubble skirt and that was really cool but i didn't want to do like exactly that skirt like there's one yeah, it's panel fun in the back. it's fun in the back this is a panel literally kieran came up with this team kind of sick and so like the belt it's kind of similar to like the kilty belt that fringe one that Riza made me made it a top added one of my horse bows still trying to figure out shoe i love these shoes like so much and i want to feature them but I have a few other shoes that I feel like might be better, maybe? Bubble skirt by Ange. I love it super low-waisted, too. I think that's cool. This is fucking insane. So good. Again, this is going to be, like, white seamless, but, like, shot really cool. So, like, it's kind of the, the vibe to get a little kooky, you know? Whereas, like, any other day I'd wear it, like, as a skirt. So, we may as well try. This is the third outfit. I really wanted to feature this set because I wore it on my weekend with my friends, but didn't really get that many good picks. And like, I just think it needs its moment. You know what I mean? I added this little rose, another Meguiar shoe, flower. My bag from Peru. This insane shawl that I got off Depop. I'm obsessed with it. The brand of this Blair, I got it off Depop. I'll put her shop here, but the brand is Lamb C. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put a picture of it here. I think I want to do it with my Screaming Mimi's like knit hat and then my striped shoes, which I think look really cute. I love the mixed prints like with the color scheme we got going on and the brand is Charles Jordan Paris. And then I got this set from Real Life is Live and I'm gonna cherish it for my entire life because I have like dreamed of purchasing from something from her collection. So it was really special. But yeah, this is the set. It's like a top and a skirt. This is the look. I think I want to bring like some earrings and maybe a necklace and stuff. Third look, down. I absolutely had to incorporate these capris because they're like my favorite clothing item that I own. Definitely need to like steam them out. Then I put my Harley Quinn tights underneath and then add just another print. These stripes to kind of like continue on the stripe from the pants, but they're like kind of end in like almost like a chevron point. I just think it looks really satisfying to my eye and gives me matomorpho vibes and I'm obsessed. And then I thought it'd be cool like the top. It kind of gives me, like without the tights, like a little bit of a Carrie Bradshaw moment. Buttons up on the back, but Kieran left to get us groceries to cook dinner. So I don't know if anybody to snap me in, but it snatches really nice. This top is from Allegra Vintage. I wore it with matching skirt to my cousin's wedding. I literally wear these pieces so much. I wear the skirt all the time. I wear the flower all the time and then the top as well. And then I wear them together, separate. I love it, definitely worth it. But I love the purple with the black and the red. I think this is really fun and like, very reminiscent to kind of like a king's court. I wanted to quickly see if I could style this dress as like a fifth look, cause they did say four to five looks. And I really did want to feature my cone bra. So I feel like this is kind of maybe a moment. I'm bringing these cheetah gold earrings and I'm gonna bring like these two gold bags to see, cause I think that's kind of fun. And like my cat eye sunnies and do like a Thelma and Louise earrings and the glasses and my hair maybe like in a curl. Then I'm wearing these polka dot tights that I got off Amazon for a shoot that I did a while ago. And then these shoes that are the brand Escada. I got them off of the Real Real. They're great heels. They're so cute. The vintage Calvin Klein dress will finally be worn. I feel like it could photograph really cool, but also if they tell me like the colors aren't gonna go great with the seamless, then we won't do it. But this is the extra fifth look with the little bow on the side and the tight. I think it could be glam, but if it's not, then it's not. Good morning, everybody. Happy shoot day. Here's my outfit. I just wanted to be quite comfy. I think I'm going to Uber there and subway back. So I'm not all sweaty and disgusting for the shoot, but then I don't care if I get sweaty and disgusting on the way back. And I am carrying a bit of stuff, but it should be fine to subway. I just didn't want to. You get me. It's hot out there. I'm wearing my Miss Chloe top from Awoke Vintage. The brand is Chloe and I love it. It's my first Chloe piece ever. I wore it in my Q&A video. And then these like gaucho comfy pants that I thrifted. My Meguiar mesh shoes, which I think would be cute. I have a bunch of my bags and sunglasses and stuff, but this is the outfit. Everyday makeup with my lip, but didn't do mascara or anything just yet. Cause I don't know what the vibes will be and what look we want to start with. First up is the Arete shoot. So let's go. I'm very excited. Come with. Yeah, that's really 
don't even mention at this point but the other shoot that i had with dot that i was talking about the timing like didn't work out with the photographer it was already like super last minute we were just trying to make it work with extra pieces that they had to just like shoot for fun and do something 
interesting and cool and whatever but it just like wasn't really in the cards it wasn't working we would have to shoot at like 8 p.m in a studio and so we were trying to find like another photographer that we could maybe work with to get it done and it just wasn't working out so we might still try to do it but we'll see i obviously enter this saying i've two shoots and I only showed you one. So that is why. I'm now at my friend Nat's closet sale with Pinstripe. Rut hither, we're about to go. Got all my bags from the shoot. It went really well. I'll talk about it when we get home because you guys are, my battery's dying. But I'm at Nat's now. Whoa, that looks scary. Hi everyone, I'm home. I'm unpacking all the goods. Um, I unpacked a lot of it already and then I remembered to open up the cam. Um, but I put my shoes in that shoe box. This is like, I need to figure out a new way to store like all my shoes. But again, Kieran is moving in and all of this will be his. So, yeah, what the fuck? Where am I gonna put everything? We're gonna figure it out. Not today. We have 700 million other things we gotta do today, that's for sure. We gotta edit this video. It is Sunday, I'm posting you tomorrow. Yup, so that's first priority. I really need food, I haven't eaten since nine. It's almost five o'clock, so we need to grub. I'm stabbing. It's pouring rain outside, feeling bad I was gonna get a mark with my friend Leslie, but honestly, like, I'm so tired and I have so much to edit and so much to do. It like doesn't make sense and it's also pouring rain out. So like it's just not happening for the girls tonight, which is brutal. It's also pride and I always do something for pride. And it's always so much fun. I like always spend it with my friends, Chris and Alec. And today it just didn't work out and I'm kind of sad. Seeing everybody in their cute ass outfits and glitter. When I subwayed home, it was like its own little party, own little parade. So that was really cute. This is the bag Ange gave me with all their stuff, so I added it back in there. I'm gonna finish unpacking all this stuff. Go get food, shower, eat, then I'll pick up the camera. Cause I, yeah, I will say, shoot went amazing, I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't, haven't done a photo shoot or like had like legit elevated photos of myself for like my portfolio and like other random things that come up. So it's gonna be really nice to have and I'm very excited and I included a lot of my favorite vintage pieces and small brands. But yeah, you guys saw me style the outfits out last night. Arette is a really cool app, you guys should check it out. I'm on it, I need to like build out my site. You could post pieces in your closet, which they have like a background remover for all your photos and stuff. So you can like have your wardrobe in the app and like put outfits together and stuff. But you could also like sell the things that you're also putting in your wardrobe. You could post like inspo photos, like kind of like Pinterest and Instagram, like where you post like your feed. So you post outfit photos, wardrobe, make outfits, and then also shop like small brands and small designers and connect with creators there. It's like a really cool, fun, creative app. So they're doing some really cool stuff. Also, they have like their Instagram where they cover creators and brands that they feature and stuff. So that's what this shoot was doing a feature on me, which was really cool. And I'm so honored. You know when you like do a shoot, I like did like multiple layers of like makeup and crust and like wipe my lips and added lipstick. I'm just looking so scary, like post shoot like crust. Like the makeup look doesn't make sense with my outfit. I'm just like scaring myself. Okay, love you. Talk to you later. Okay team, I obviously did not pick up the camera last night again. I was so tired and was just editing you guys and like went to bed. So, good morning. It is now Monday morning. I'm going to post this video today. Woke up extra early so I could finish editing it. it might not happen because iMovie is freaking on me and I'm having like storage issues and stuff so it keeps like quitting out. We're gonna figure it out. I'll get it up today for sure. So I hope you enjoy it. I love you so, so, so much. I hope you have a great week. I'll put my Instagram and my TikTok here in case y'all wanna follow me over there. Sending you so much love and I will see you on Thursday. Okay, bye guys. Thanks. For